All right, I'm out here again with Star. Finna fly her outside for the first time. Um, it is not my intention to fly this drone outdoors. That's not why I did it. But um, just curious to see how it performs outdoors. I got it tuned to fly indoors solely and I built it for that reason. But uh, this here is the science channel and we're gonna see what it do. Any to the hood. <laughs> Absolutely not. Star is not about that outdoor life at all. Um, as y'all seen in the video, there's a lot of shaking. Uh, and one of my props broke. Which is why it was doing extra shaking. 
I could tune this for outdoors, but the motors already get hot as it is. And if I tune it even further, it'll get extra hot. And the last thing I need is this thing turn into a ball of fire. So I'm gonna just keep it a indoor flying drones where there's no outside elements to interrupt the um, tune on this thing so it can fly smooth. But yeah, there you go. That's why it's an indoor drone. Any hook. Just a quick update. Uh, bad news, everybody. The motor that had that broke propeller, the motor has stopped working. So, um, so Star is going to be out for a while until I can get new motors. And I don't like to buy one motor. I like to buy all four because once in my experience once you buy one new motor then all, one of the other ones will blow up just buy all four and that way you know they all be new and these are fairly cheap they're not big motors so they're not expensive but any hooks uh that crash in that limb to this motor has destroyed it so what that means for me is uh Maybe I need to change something in the tune because you don't want to tr crash your drone and a motor stop working. That means something's too aggressive. So, any hooks? Thanks for watching the Science Channel. Over and out.